thejbeans.net. Big changes are continuing in Nassau, the capital city of the Bahamas, with the city's cruise port area undergoing a transformation that started while the cruise industry was paused in 2020 due to COVID. We first saw the changes during our August 2021 cruise on the MSC Maravilla, and we saw the progress being made more recently when we revisited Nassau aboard two cruises in December 2021. In this video, we'll provide an update on the port area construction, as well as the surrounding area's recovery from the COVID shutdown. Just a quick note that if you enjoy this video, please give us a thumbs up or leave a comment. It really helps our channel. And consider subscribing so you get alerted when we add new videos. The most obvious change we saw in Nassau in August of 2021 was that construction equipment had replaced the demolished cruise port terminal building. Four months later in December, progress was clearly being made on a foundation for what appeared to be the new cruise port terminal building. Another big change that was underway in August was the expansion of the port's berthing capacity. By December, the new dock at the north end of the port was being used by visiting cruise ships. The sand that was dredged to help create the new dock was still being used to create new land for the future marketplace and plaza. While significant progress had been made since August, there was still a large hill of sand in the area during our visits in December. Between the new dock at the north end of the port and the new cruise port terminal building, work was in progress to expand the pier. We didn't notice this work in August, but by the time we visited in December, enough work had been done to clearly see where a new building was going to be added to the pier. Based on the Nassau cruise port video, it appears that the building will be designated for shore excursions and boat tour operators. During our visits, boat tours were operating from the other side of the pier since they could no longer dock where the land for the marketplace and plaza was being created. A few things in the port area had not changed between our August and December visits. First, the hair braiding and taxi stand were both still set up in designated areas near the port area exit. Second, the outdoor vendors were still set up in Rawson Square, just a minute or so from the port area. And third, the horse and carriage rides were still nowhere to be seen. Additionally, the area where the horses used to be hitched was no longer available as a walkway. Nassau's Bay Street shopping area took a major hit due to COVID, and signs of a recovery were fairly minimal during our visit in August. However, four months later in December, there were more businesses open, including two popular tourist destinations. Senior Frogs was closed when we visited in August, but the bar and grill was reopened when we visited in December. The Nassau Straw Market was also closed when we visited in August, and it was also reopened when we visited in December. However, the market only seemed to be about half full of vendors compared to what we saw prior to COVID. The effects of COVID on Nassau's economy were still fairly visible during our visits in December. However, we spoke with some friendly locals, and it was clear from their stories that changes were happening and things were slowly getting better for them. 
If you're interested in what the future holds for the Cruiseport area and Bay Street, the Nassau Cruiseport website features a video with 3D renderings of the vision. We've linked to the Cruiseport's website, which also has a ship schedule, in the description below.